you're an out-of-state investor, you might think turnkey is your only route. You might think you only have the opportunity to buy a deal at or above fair market value from a turnkey provider. You'd be wrong. With Holton Wise, we help you do what I call turnkey reimagined. We are going to help you guys put equity in your pockets, right? I got a Burr deal that I'm going to help my clients, Area and Mark, take down. And if everything pans out how I want it to, you guys are going to have $15,000 of equity as well as a fully, uh, fully renovated, refurbished, ready to rock and roll turnkey rental. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. All right, folks. We're going to be running the numbers on a bird deal, looking under the hood on a bird deal. Northeast Ohio. A lot of you guys are coming to Northeast Ohio from all over the USA, right? You're coming from Cali. You're coming from Jersey. You're coming from that dirty cesspool piece of crap garbage location of Portland to do real estate in Ohio because Ohio's a great cash flow market. It's landlord friendly. You don't have those wokey maniacs running around throwing their Starbucks cafe mocha lattes at you, screaming about communism and blah, 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 blah with their damn blue mohawks. You know what I'm talking about, Portland? Fuck you, Portland. Anyway, folks, Northeast Ohio, it's where a lot of out-of-state folks come from, right? Out-of-state investors who want to escape all that stuff I just talked about or who want properties for cheaper than where they can find them, right? So you end up in Northeast Ohio. You end up in little areas like this, little-known spots like Lorraine, Ohio, suburb of Cleveland, about half hour west, okay? I like Lorraine better than Cleveland, right? Not a lot of people know about Lorraine. It's a hidden gem, right? Cleveland, one of the most popular turnkey markets, but everyone thinks you can only buy deals in the city of Cleveland. Nah, bro. There's a lot of suburbs around Cleveland, right? The metro Cleveland area, the greater Cleveland area, is the area of Holton Wise Services, the area I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. This area, we're dealing with a population of almost 5 million. It's like four, four and a half, five, somewhere in there. I don't know. Google it if you want the exact number. Uh, there's only like 350, 360,000 of those people living in the city of Cleveland. I myself, right? If you're in the turnkey space, I'm probably the most well-known uh, turnkey seller, contractor, broker, insurance guy from the Cleveland market. But I don't specifically live in the actual city of Cleveland, folks. The actual city of Cleveland is just a drop in the bucket in the overall market, the overall metro area, right? So, my opinion... Places like Lorraine are actually better than Cleveland, right? You wouldn't know that if you're out there in another one of these states looking at the market from afar, right? That's why you come here to Holton Wise TV to get that on-the-ground resources. And this deal, 1325 West 6th Street, Lorraine, all right? Been on the market for about a month. They got it listed at 47. It's beat up. It's ugly, right? Look at this house. Haven't cut the grass. Ever, right? Looks like crap. That's good, right? If we're trying to do the burst strategy, we want it to look like crap, right? Because that's how we squeeze out some value, right? I'm going to show you guys how to turn this into 15K worth of equity, right? You see the inside, it's all jacked up. They probably had a tenant in there. They evicted them. We got to redo this kitchen, by the way. They already got the hardwoods, which we will refinish. So we're going to be cleaning out all this crap, refinishing all these hardwoods, Patching holes in the walls like that. Back to that kitchen real quick. Let me show you something here. The kitchen will not end up with hardwoods, right? Because you got a vinyl flooring here. We'll replace this with like a new, more modern vinyl flooring. Uh, we'll probably replace that countertop, get some new appliances in there. Obviously, reface those cabinets, right? Make it look good. Probably do agreeable paint throughout the entire house. Fix up issues like this, right? You got a hole in the ceiling, right? That's also going to be due to water issues. So we're probably going to want to put a new roof on this property, right? And then we'll get this ugly duckling ready to rock and roll, right? We'll salvage this carpet. I'm just kidding, you slumlord freaks. We have to, we have to replace this carpet. What's wrong with you? You guys thought we were going to keep the carpet, you dirty bastards. No, no, no. We got to obviously get rid of this carpet, refinish the hardwoods under there, you dirty bastards. You know who you are out there that was like, oh, no, we could keep the carpet. No! No! 
Anyway, we'll get rid of all this shit, right? Just getting rid of all this ugliness, right? And uh, probably replace this hot water tank. This looks like it's seen better days. That'll be like 1200 bucks. This furnace, probably like 10 years old. They last about 30 years, so we probably won't have to replace that, right? So that, folks, is old. Oh, jeez, this yard is ugly, too. Um, hmm, this yard is, is rough. They like got rid of the lawn. Uh, we'd probably want to tear down this fence. Definitely tear down the fence. And, you know, we'd probably throw some grass seed down on this. That's really pretty much all you got to do. Clean out the crappy garage. Uh, and that's pretty much it, right? Do the same vinyl lure flooring uh, in this bathroom that we did in the kitchen. Uh, Reglaze this whole thing right here. And, uh, yeah, that'll pretty much be it. Replace this bad boy right here actually get yourself a mirror so they could uh, watch themselves brush their teeth, right? That's what we're going to want to do, right? So it's pretty ugly. Uh, to get all of everything I just mentioned done, it's probably going to run us about thirty-five grand, right? So they have it priced at forty-seven. I want to pick it up for you for 40 If we can get this at forty, it's going to be a hell of a deal. I'll be able to create fifteen k in equity for you, right? Because we're going to spend forty buying it. Then we're going to spend thirty-five going over everything I just said. That'll put us all in at seventy-five. At that point... We'll rent this to either a cash paying or Section 8 tenant for about 1100 bucks a month, right? That's 13200 for the year. You run your fixed and variable expense estimates. Uh, seven of that is going to go towards costs and unknowns and things of that nature. So your true NOI will probably be around 6000 a year, right? But this is where it gets good, folks. This is why the burst storage is great. This is why we deal with all of the ugliness that this property has to produce for us, right? This is why we see stuff like this, right? Other people, they see this bedroom and they're like, oh, man. This is gross. This is horrible. I see this and I'm like, you smell that? It smells like poverty and sadness and money because we're going to make money because we're going to turn this sadness into a little bit of happiness, y'all. A little bit of happiness. That's what we do here. We put smiles on faces, man. No, seriously. That shit's good, right? Because the person that currently owns it is like, fuck. This sucks, right? He is, like, he's upset right now, right? He's he's walking into this like, God damn, this is my life. I don't want to deal with this shit. This is fucking terrible, right? His sadness means he's got a problem, and we're going to take away that problem, hopefully at the price of 40 k right? And then we're going to make the problem be no longer a problem with 35 grand. we are all in at 75 and because of that, right? Now, new property. All fixed up, new roof, new hot water tank, new kitchen, new bathroom, hardwoods, refinished throughout the house, right? Smelling good. Rented for 1100 okay? At that point, that property is really worth 90000 but we're only into it for seventy five. So we created $15,000 of equity. Money in your pocket. This is why working with Holton Wise to do bird deals, to do turnkey reimagined, this is why it's oftentimes much more profitable for out-of-state investors like you than traditional turnkey, right? If we did it the traditional turnkey way, uh, we could just sell it to you for ninety with everything wrapped up. And, you know, for some of you, that might work. Uh, but for others, you want that 15 k This is how we help you do it. And if you do it that way, you're going to be looking at about a 27% cash on cash return estimate. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.